will continue reading ikigai chapter 4 now strategy 1 choose a difficult task in bracket but not too difficult shafa's model encourages us to take on tasks that we have a chance of completing but that are slightly outside our comfort zone every task sport or job has a set of rules and we need to set a we need a set of skills to follow them if the rules for completing a task or achieving a purpose are too basic relative to our skill set we will likely get bored activities that are too easy lead to apathy if on the other hand we assign ourselves a task that is too difficult we won't have the skills to complete it and will most will almost certainly give up and feel frustrated to boot the ideal is to find a middle path something aligned with our abilities but just a bit of a stretch so we experience it as a challenge this is what ernest hemingway meant when he said sometimes i write better than i can we want to see challenges through to the end because we enjoy the feeling of pushing ourselves Bertrand Russell expressed a similar idea when he said to be able to concentrate for a considerable amount of time is essential to difficult achievement. If you are a graphic designer, learn a new software program for your next project. If you are a programmer, use a new programming language. If you are a dancer, try to incorporate into your next routine a movement that has seemed impossible for years. add a little something extra something that takes you out of your comfort zone even doing something as simple as reading means following certain rules having certain abilities and knowledge if we set out to read a book on quantum mechanics for specialists in physics without being specialists in physics ourselves we will probably give up after a few minutes on the other hand on the other end of the spectrum if we already know everything a book has to tell us we'll get bored right away however if the book is appropriate to our knowledge and abilities and builds on what we already know we will immerse ourselves in our reading and time will flow this pleasure and satisfaction are evidence that we are in tune with our ikigai easy is boredom challenging is flow beyond our abilities is anxiety next strategy strategy 2 have a clear concrete objective video games played in moderation board games and sports are great ways to achieve flow because the objective tends to be very clear Best beat are your rival or your own record by following a set of explicitly defined rules. Unfortunately, the objective isn't quite as clear in most situations. According to a study by Boston Consulting Group, when asked about their bosses, the number one complaint of employees at multinational corporations is that they don't communicate the team's mission clearly. and that as a result the employees don't know what their objectives are what often happens especially in big companies is that the executives get lost in the details of obsessive planning creating creating strategies to hide the fact that they don't have a clear objective it's like heading out to sea with a map but no destination It is much more important to have a compass pointing to a concrete objective than to have a map. Joy Ito, director of the MIT Media Lab, encourages us to use the principle of compass over maps as a tool to navigate our world of uncertainty. In the book Whiplash: How to Survive Our Faster Future, he and Jeff Howey write wrote In an increasingly unpredictable world, moving ever more quickly, a detailed map may lead you deep into the woods at an unnecessarily high cost. A good compass, though, will always take you where you need to go. It doesn't mean that you should start your journey without any idea where you are going. 
what it does mean is understanding that while the path to your goal may not be straight you will finish faster and more efficiently than you would have if you had trudged along a pre-planned route in business the creative professions and education alike it's important to reflect on what we hope to achieve before starting to work study or make something we should ask ourselves questions such as what is my objective for today's session for in the studio how many words am i going to write today for the article coming out next month what is my team's mission how fast will i set the metronome tomorrow in order to play that sonata at an allegro tempo by the end of the week having a clear objective is important in achieving flow but we also have to know how to leave it behind when we get down to business once the journey has begun we should keep this objective in mind without obsessing over it when olympic athletes compete for a gold medal they can't stop to think how pretty the medal is they have to be present in the moment they have to flow if they lose focus for a second thinking how proud they will be to show the medal to their parents they will almost certainly commit an error at a critical moment and will not win the competition one common example of this is writer's block imagine that a writer has to finish a novel in 3 months the objective is clear the problem is that the writer can't stop obsessing over it every day she wakes up thinking i have to write that novel and every day she sets about reading the newspaper and cleaning the house every evening she feels frustrated and promises that she will get to work the next day days weeks and months pass and the writer still hasn't gotten anything down on the page when all it would have taken was to sit down and get that first word out and then the second the flow with the project expressing her ikigai